Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Today I'm going to show you how to implement Facebook login in your Flutter application. So we have a sign in button and once we click it, it will take us to the Facebook app if it's installed or to the web with Facebook. You can enter your credential, I've already entered that. So you click continue and it will bring the profile image, your name and email address and some other stuff. And you can log out as well. So let's get started. Okay, to get this started, I have created the skeleton for our project. I'm having a stateful widget. Inside it, we are having a bool logged in equal to false. Inside the build function, there's a scaffold. Inside the app bar and the container. And inside the container, there is a build widget. Inside the build widget, we are checking on that bool logged in. And if, if the user logged in, we are returning a list style inside the circle avatar with network image, the image we are getting from Facebook with text name and email and an elevated button to sign him out and else we are just saying you're not signed in and elevated button to sign in. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to add a library to our project so we will go to this Flutter Facebook auth we will be using this library we will copy this dependency and we will paste it inside our pubspec.yaml after cupertino icons so paste it and click on pub get and close our application because we will have to rerun it again later okay once pub get completed close pubspec.yaml go back to the main and before we do anything in here we need to set up facebook so we will go back to the browser and go to this link i will keep this links in the description box and we need to set up Facebook SDKs before we start implementing the Facebook login in Flutter. So the first step here for Android, we have to select an app or create a new app. As you can see, I have no app, so we have to create an app. Click on create an app and select what the type is. We can select none, for example, or business. You can select whatever type you want. The display name, we can say, for example, Flutter login or test login and here the email and here business account no business account selected click create app and it requires you to enter your password so enter it and once you enter your password click submit and wait a little bit okay now you can set up facebook login from here or you can set it at up from here so refresh this page and we will set it up from here this time click the app and now in a flutter skip part two and part three we don't actually want them however we want the app id we'll get back to it in a while now we will immediately jump to point four which is edit your resources and manifest we have to edit our strings file inside the android directory so let's copy these values and go to Android Studio, expand Android, expand app, expand SRC, expand main, expand res, finally <laughs> expand values. Now as you can see, we only have styles, we don't have values, uh, string, sorry. So you can right click it, click in new, and since we don't have XML here, click file, call it strings.xml. And before we paste these, we have to have these resources and these, so we can copy these paste it here and then remove everything from here and now we can go back to the browser and copy these codes and paste them here now one more thing before we close this strings file we have to add another string facebook uses it which is you can type name which is app underscore name and you have to give a name for your app we'll call it flutter test login and then close the strings, close the styles, and close Android. So let's go back to Opera. And we have to edit our manifest folder. So we have to copy these. Uh, internet permission. Let's go back to Android Studio and expand app again. Expand the SRC, expand main. And we will edit the manifest. Up there, you can paste that permission which is using uh, internet I don't think this is required because flutter apps by default uses internet and that's okay 
but you can paste it let's go back to the browser and we have to paste this so let's copy this code as well and go back to the manifest and after this flutter embedding to paste it and the reason why i told you to add app name because it also here uses add string app name so that's why we uh, added app name and it wasn't there in the documentation however you have to add it otherwise it will give you some errors so i think we're done with the manifest so let's go back to our browser and down here point five we have to provide a package name and package name is is the package name we already given when we started creating this application mine is this and if you forget it you can copy it from here go back to the browser and paste it and here you just paste it and uh, enter dot and enter main activity and that's it click save and wait for it a little bit to save it okay now go back down there and to point six we have to provide the development and release key hashes for our app so for mac os we have to copy this code and paste it inside the terminal so let's go to the terminal and paste this and click enter enter password here you can type android and click enter and this is the thing we have to provide so copy this and paste it here now one more thing we have to copy this command as well so copy it and go back to the terminal paste it and copy this code again go back to the browser and provide this okay and click save now point seven is not mandatory and point eight is actually for android not for flutter so we can now start creating our app in flutter okay now inside the flutter app we have to implement the facebook login so the first thing we have to do we have to create an access token and let's call it access token and make it nullable so it doesn't complain now inside the build method in the button sign in we have to create a method and let's call it sign in without parentheses and let's create a future void it doesn't return anything and let's call it sign in and it doesn't take anything and this is async and inside here we can create login result and let's call it result is equal to await facebook auth dot i dot login and this returns a login result so we have to check if the result is success so we will check result dot status if it's equal to login and this is an enum called login status dot success as well and if it's success so this means we are logged in so we can take the access token and we can say result dot access token now this isn't enough because we don't get the user data from the login result we actually get the user data from another function it's called facebook auth dot i dot get user data and this actually returns a data like so it returns a data like this so i will copy it and go back here and create a class model let's call it user model and inside it i will actually paste this so i don't forget what types we have and what variables we have okay we have final string and let's make them all nullable in case we don't get it email and final i think this is int id and final string name and for the picture let's create also another class for the picture let's create class picture model and let's create final string we don't need the picture we don't need the data we need the height and url and width so let's uh, string url okay then final and width and final int height and let's make this nullable as well all right 
now here we will create a const picture model and all of them are named parameter and none of them is required so this dot width this dot height and this dot url okay same for this one now here we will add final picture model and let's call it picture model and make it nullable as well okay now here we will make a const user model and none of them is actually required and this dot email and this dot id and i think we can make this id a string it's better i don't know okay now what we need to do we need to convert this json into an actual model so i will create factory and call it picture model dot from json and this takes a map it's a string then dynamic as you can see here it's a string and then dynamic either end or double or string so let's call this json and inside here what we need sorry what we need to do we need to return a picture model so inside here we can say uh, url and it's equal to json inside it url and we can say width and this is equal to json and inside it the width and finally we can say height and this is equal to the json inside it the height okay and don't forget a semicolon here and we will do the same for the user model we'll create factory user model dot from json as well and this takes map string dynamic as well and we will call it json as well and we will return user model okay first email which is json email and then we have id which is json and id and then we have name which is the json for the name and finally we have picture model which is json now picture then the, the data inside it okay and don't forget a semicolon here now we can make we can cast these like we can say as string and make this nullable because the id is already nullable and this <laughs> sorry this doesn't take json this actually takes picture model dot from json and the json here is this json picture data okay now what we need to do we need to take this we need to say final data is equal to that then after that we have to say user model and let's call it model is equal to user model dot from json which is data all right now we have to create a global user model we'll go up and after the access token let's create user model and let's call it current user and make this nullable so it doesn't nag anymore okay now here we can say user or current user is equal to the model and we can set state so we can use it okay now that's it actually for the sign in but what we have to do we have to go to the build method and create a local user model inside here and make it nullable let's call it user and this user actually equals to current user and now we don't actually want to check on the login we want to check if on the user if user is different from null okay if user is different from null where to get the image the image we can get it from user the picture model and force unwrap picture model dot url and just remove the const from here now to make this look nice we don't actually have to make make it always a 50 we can say user dot picture model and first unwrap it dot width for example 
then first unwrap the width as well over 6 or you can change the value of this as you wish and first unwrap the URL here okay the name also we can say user dot name and first unwrap the name and the email actually is actually user dot email and first unwrap the email all right and that's it however we have to create a sign out function and this sign out would be also under the sign in we will create void okay we will create future <laughs> all right sorry we will create future void and we will call it sign out it doesn't take anything and it's a thing okay the first thing we have to do we have to say facebook with dot i dot log out and we have to await this and after that we have to say current user is equal to null and access token is equal to null as well and finally set the state okay and that's it hopefully it will run now we are not actually using the access token but in real life we have to now run our application to see if it's working or not and hopefully it does work so let's wait to run it okay our app is running so let's click on sign in okay it took us to the browser and since i already uh, entered my credential it won't ask me for credential again let's click continue and i don't want that i will skip it actually and continue as yahya and hopefully it will work and yeah it does it bring the profile image bring the name and it brought also the email address and we can sign out as well okay now one last thing this might not work for some reasons sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work let's go to the browser and you have to go to the app review click on app permissions now for this particular app we've created you have to change the public profile and the email address to advanced access it would be usually like this you click request advanced access and it just asks you for the password you enter the password and it will be advanced access and it will work after that so if you have that issue make sure to make the profile picture and profile public profile and email to advanced access and that was all thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video